Pull that trigger. The 30. Let's push it. Woohoo! Well, oh, here we have test subject A. You see I got the larger air filter on there. Easy for me to put the nitrous inside. All right, I'm going to throw another charge in here. I'm going to release the charge without stepping on the throttle. We've got another camera set up that you'll see how much more power is getting put out. How do I do this so you know I'm not on the, not on the gas, right? Put my feet as far as I can out of the way. I am not a nimble man. All right, this is just an off. Here we go. Out before we get going here. Well, that's our nitrous oxide. It doesn't really seem to do much anything for us. All right, day two, I got the 93 octane fuel in here, and instead of the uh, the 87. Well, let's uh, turn it around here and watch out for ice. Bit of an icy, icy road condition. Try to get up to top speed. And See if it goes a little bit more. Let's get up to top speed and hit it with the nitrous. All right, give it a little tuck. Here's our top. 30, 31. It rubbed up. I mean, I felt it. I felt it kick up. I definitely felt it kick up, that's for sure. Whew. You see it's frozen up here at the top. Whew. Yeah, it's cold. Woohoo! That is cold. Up, up, up. Need those washers. Need those washers. Throw another charge in there. Ooh, hands are about had it. There we go. Yeah, when you push that button, you feel it. Whoop, yep. You hear it rev up just a little bit. All right, let's turn around here and get underway. <clears throat> Gonna go more towards the middle of the road. I'm just shedding ice out from my tire right now. All right. We're gonna get up there. We pull that trigger. The 30. Let's push it. Woohoo! We have 34. Alright. Let off. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. Let me get inside and show you how to make this guy. Yeah, it's getting a nice little boost, but let me get inside, see if there's anything left. Oh yeah, pushing the button, you hear that? Trying to rush before the snow comes in. Let's get these gloves on. Hooked up a little tachometer just so you can see the rev going. Sit in here, got the zombie cart. Got my little NOS kit. What 
we had 4420 RPMs, pretty stable, time for a NOS shot. I heard it rev up, but whew, it seemed like it wanted to give me too much more power. So this is like the mini bike I had to put the higher octane fuel in to get it to work. This engine is going again. This engine still has the lower octane fuel and I know when I hit the button, but even though I know when I hit the button, you know, it's not really doing anything. All right, I'm gonna swap out the canister, and this time, instead of changing out the fuel, I'm gonna use the octane boost. So, on the mini bike, I had to go to a higher octane. For this, how much is too much? This is like 18 gallons worth, and I just poured like a quarter of the bottle or a third of the bottle in there. No, oh, whatever. This is the engine that I used. It has a different flywheel on it. Actually powers, it's charging the battery and it powers the headlights. I got a different video on that guy too. Yeah, it's in there. Yep, I heard it, I heard it. Okay. There we go. Give it the go. And matches. Woo! There's a nice little jump. All right, I got one charge left. It still has some in there. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I'm guessing it's freezing up. Woo! Feel it coming out. I'm guessing it's freezing up when I'm going. You could be getting a little bit more out of there. Yeah, there we go. All right, gotta put this. Oh, geez, that's cold. All right, seems like we're topping out 22. Hit it! 23! We're sliding a bit. Definitely sliding a bit. Whew. 24 again. Alright, well here's my setup. Just came inside from the from the snow. Nice slick tires up there. But I've got my canister with the trigger up in the top here. And then I have my tube just kind of zip tied out of the way. You don't want to zip tie it too tight or you're going to pinch off the tube. And then it's not going to have any flow through it, any knots flow through it. Tube just comes down to the side and goes up through the air filter at an angle. So I have it angled in, drilled in this direction here pointed directly into the carb. The tube goes right in there, nice and snug. As you can see here, the cartridge itself is simply something you use for filling up a bike tire with air. You use a carbon dioxide uh, charge and fill your bike tire. However, I have repurposed it for nitrous oxide in order to get the eight gram cartridges instead of the 16 gram cartridges to fit which is the very small canister. I have a marvelous 
little adapter set in here called Stacko Washers. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen beautiful washers sit at the bottom of the canister. My charge goes inside of there. I screw it on quick. Throw a quick tie or something to keep it up where I can pull the trigger. Fun little kits to play with, cost about $35 to make. Hope you check out some of my other videos like the zombie killer over here. I did not add the high octane, the high octane boost to the 93, but you saw with the, the lower octane fuel, the mini bike didn't really want to do anything. Switching it out to 93 octane gave it a little bit of a boost. The go-kart, once you added the octane boost, it did see a gain. So what happens if you take octane boost, you add it into already high octane fuel, you're gonna get the most out of your nitrous oxide. That's what I learned today. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.